would like to introduce about this pluribuscular system and about its characteristics. I will spend most of my time in the review of the pluribuscular system and a little bit about its osteopathic techniques. This beautiful scenery is known as Tyrol. And at the foot of this Tyrol, around 1991, a alpine iceman was found. The surprising story about this iceman, his na he was named at Otzi. He's about 5,000 years ago, he lived in Alpus and he was supposed to be a hunter. This imaginary picture, this man is called Oji, and he's a hunter. And very surprisingly, in his back, there were found several burned points, supposed to be acupuncture points in blood meridians. It was reported and analyzed in the journal Lancet, published 1999. So, as this paper in Lancet claim, acupuncture might be much older than Chinese uh, literatures. China literatures about 2,000 years ago. But this man. This Ochi shows possibly even 5,000 years ago, not in Asia, but in Europe, this Marx Boston or acupuncture point was known. For such a long time, this acupuncture point was known, and yet, until today, nobody really knows what these points are in anatomical or physiological sense. Only in 1960s, about 50 years ago, a North Korean scholar, Pong Han Kim, claimed that he found that these points and the meridians are physically real system. We named this primal system Anatomically, it means it's a circulatory system corresponding to acupuncture meridians. And very interesting is Pohan Kim claimed that his physiological function is source and passive stem cells. At the time of Pohan Kim, the idea of stem cells was not known, but as we understand, his papers, he essentially mentioned the stem cells. So along these acupuncture meridians, stem cells move, and at the acupuncture node or acupuncture point, these stem cells were manufactured or <coughs> grow in the point. That's what Pohan Kim claimed. And this pluribuscular system has three important construction points. Prima node, which prima node, which corresponds to acupuncture point, prima vessel with acupuncture meridians, and there are fluid that flows inside this prima fluid, and sanal, which is a kind of microcell, uh, possibly a source of stem cell. There are two questions around. One is, why has not been observed until today by conventional histological method? Second is, how could it be detected and identified, if it's possible? One of the explanations is now possible that is New anatomy is recently published by the name of 
unrecognized institution by this group in the United States and published in scientific reports recently. The title is Structure and Distribution of an Unrecognized Institution in Human Tissue. They study human tissue in bile duct using bios. So one of the required technique in this study was we need a biopsy to find this kind of new anatomical structure. And inside this bile duct, the surface of some bile duct, his mother was explained here, there are liquid field here, fluid field, and this structure, if you do study using conventional histological study like HNE, these whole structures collapsed. So you may not be able to see this structure by using this HNE method. Or another method, trichrome method. These are conventional methods. They used biopsy and some new techniques using <coughs> They invented a kind of fluorescent microscopy that can study this without extracting this fluid. These are the structures. The points with the star is a lipid field new structure. <coughs> These structures are completely uh, was not collapsed here, also here. So in conventional histology, this structure could not be seen. But they found this structure using their own new techniques. Reiterating the, the explanation, the fixed specimen usually used stainless H&E the thin spaces between collagen layers reflect normally fluid field spaces that are almost completely collapsed. This is the reason completely collapsed in conventional technology. So we have to overcome to see new structure this conventional method. This paper provides lessons for the previous research. The limitation of a conventional histology is fixed specimen stained with HME, as I said, completely collapsed. Therefore, it is difficult to recognize the presence of the interstitial of the world PDS. This provides answer to the question why the PBS has not been recognized in the skin, brain, and nerves. Until today, some part of the PBS has been already observed in the surface internal organs, inside of the lymph or blood vessels, around the tumor tissue. These three cases, always the primovascular system was surrounded by liquid fluid itself. Therefore, it was possible to recognize them. But most importantly, in the skin, acupuncture meridians, and in the brain, spine, and nerves, these important areas, they are not surrounded by liquid, like in this tissue. That's why we were not able to uh, discover until today that these areas are needed for the study. Until the print time, various animals were studied, like cow and horse for big animal, pig, dog, sheep, rabbit, rat and mouse, mostly rat and mouse this primovascular system was found, and chicken egg and human placenta was also 
some study was made, and recently Chinese scholars tried some fish studies. If it's found or observed, how could the pleural system in the skin be detected or identified? Now, the detection technique, that's very important for the study of this. <coughs> Strategies like interstitium, we should let some dye flow in the PBS first. Some case was already done. Injecting arsen blue dye inside blood vessel, then wait for whole light, and we found in the abdominal world that in the, <clears throat> this fatty tissue, this arsen blue flowed out of the blood vessel, then along this line. And this is primordial and this is primordial. Another case. And still another example was at the acupuncture point, blood number 23, injected arsen blue. And this is surface, outside surface of stomach of this wet and found there are blue ice blue flowing lines is pure node and pure vessel. Still another case using flu <coughs> fluorescent nanoparticles we inject into the primo node in the abdominal wall and they flowed in this direction and if magnifying this region, we found primordial structures. So these three cases seem to show there are indeed primordial systems in the skin. The real problem is it's very hard to repeat this result. So further work, how to make repeatable, easily repeatable result. That's the question to be solved in the future. Now if that is detected, then how to identify? Effective identification method already, this one is already developed. First is cytologically, we can characterize them with the mass cell. Second one is structure. Most important characteristics are mass cells. These are abundant in primal nodes. This is a very unique feature of the primal vascular system and is quite different from lymphatic nodes. Lymph nodes do not have many mass cells. Here is an example. Pure nose and pure vessel. If we see cross section of this, and if you use tracking blue, no, no toroid blue, that makes these spots. These spots are mass cells. So if you study histologically primal node with toroid blue, and you can see how many masters are there. These are very, very many masters in primal node, and these are usually primal node has so many masters. And second characteristics are multi-hole structure. These are primal node and primal vessel. If you see the cross section, this cross section of primal vessel has several unitary proof vessels and each unitary proof vessel has primal cell vessels, smaller vessels. 
is a diagram made by Professor Liu. And you can see many holes here. Okay, since time is short, I will go quickly. Each subunit has many holes here, many, many holes. This means many smaller vessels. Strategy for finding acupuncture meridians. Find the precision injection technique to reveal the pulver vessel in the skin. Flow of dye is necessary to detect it. That's the most important technique to be developed, not yet. Yeah. Now, identification is simple using masters and tubular structures. Recently, some people in the United States developed technique, palpable technique, using fingertips. Here, to study the uh, movement of progressive. This gentleman is Robert, Paul Roberts. He said, progress system is everywhere. Also, pets have indeed come in contact with and sensed the PDS before. But not knowing this stem exists, they assumed they were feeling different aspects of other systems. That's his story. As he felt, this primo node system and primo vessels make a movement, like a retraction and tension, so that they make behavior like spiral movements, lengthening and retraction, and expansion and traction, come from the torsion movement. So he claimed, and his colleagues tried to show that these movements are very different characteristically from lymphatic node motion or blood vessel motion. Sooner or later, I think, this will be very useful for diagnostic purpose instead of uh, pulse measurement using this technique. Now I have a couple of move, movies to show. This Chinese Professor Chang Weibo, there he is studying fish. He has been studying fish or dog or other animals using low hydraulic pressure techniques. He developed many techniques for this. And he found recently some pre-vessel-like path for this, 